Hello, hope you're well. My name's Keith and for those who don't know me, I make regular videos concerning the subject of child maintenance and the child maintenance service. Today, let's talk about child benefit and let's talk about getting child benefits stopped. When online, on forums, on groups such as Facebook, I often come across the comment of my child has left education, they're at university or they've got a job and I've told child maintenance and child maintenance are still insisting my child is in education. What do I do? How do I solve this? Well, let's talk about this problem. So in order to receive child benefit, okay, your child needs to be in education. And so what CMS do is they use the child benefit records held by HMRC to determine whether a child's in education or not. CMS do not know that your child is in education. Or what I mean by that is they do not know what course the child is studying, okay, or where they're studying at. And they don't need to know because, because they use the child benefit records and you need to be in education to receive child benefit, they just go with that. Uh, so, so the end result is, is often the child will leave, leave education and for some reason, the receiving parent doesn't inform child benefit and therefore child benefit continues and therefore CMS continues. Well, the problem with that is, is obviously if you're a paying parent, that means you're gonna to have to pay. And quite rightly, you can be aggrieved at paying for something that actually you don't have to pay for. If your child's actually out working, why are you paying child maintenance? And you will ask yourself that question and quite rightly, you'll probably get annoyed by it. Now, of course, what sometimes happens is the child leaves college and goes off to university. And for some parents, they just think, well, that's education. Well, let me tell you now, if a child goes to university and you are a receiving parent, okay, you need to inform HMRC that your child is no longer in a qualifying educational course and therefore child benefits should be stopped. If your child is on a university course that uh, starts off with a foundation year in college, it is still university education and therefore child benefits should stop. So you need to inform HMRC so they can stop that. Now in terms of CMS, what does this mean? The, the report is made, child's not in education, CMS reject it, okay? So how do you tackle that? Well, actually you probably need to tackle that two different ways. First of all, tell CMS, so that it's recorded properly on their systems that you've told them. And at the same time, you should tell HMRC. Because HMRC need to know in order to stop the child benefit. Now, because you are the paying parent, you are therefore not the claimant when it comes to child benefit. So what you have to do is actually you have to make a fraud report because they will not accept when you call up and say, hi, I'm dad, my child's no longer in education, can you stop the child benefit? And they're not gonna accept it because um, you're not the person uh, receiving the child benefit. They will just basically not tell you. Okay. So how do you know that, that it's still being paid? Well, one way to do that is to ask if you can make a claim. And if they say um, it's already been claimed for, then you know that's the problem. Um, if they say, yeah, no problem, make a claim, then go, then actually you know your child's not, not being claimed for. So actually it should have stopped. But my key thing here is, in order to stop the child benefit, you do need to make a fraud report. And when you make a fraud report, my understanding of the process is they simply contact the other parent and they ask the question, is your child in education? And a lot of parents obviously at that point turn around and go, oh no, sorry, I forgot. I forgot to tell you. Or they're on the university course and then someone at child benefit will say, university doesn't qualify. In which case the benefit will stop. Now if the receiving parent doesn't tell the truth, if the receiving parent says, no, no, my child's in education, then they will get asked to prove that and if they can't prove it, it will stop. And if the child benefit stops, that means the fee to HMRC will show up that there's no child benefit in payment and therefore child benefits will, will therefore stop child maintenance. Let me assure you that this is how CMS work. They rely upon child benefit. And for those who have seen my other videos, you'll be aware of the, of the video I produced where I told um, CMS and also my ex-wife told CMS that the child was no longer in education. And initially they refused to stop the child maintenance because child benefit was still being paid. Okay. So this is, this is why it's really, really important that you have to speak to HMRC and get the child benefits stopped, all right? 
And as I say, the only way to do that is to make a forged report. It's no big deal. They deal with thousands of these every September, for example, because that's the quarterly date. But they deal with thousands of these things every year. Um, so don't worry, you know, that can speak to HMRC, they'll make the necessary phone calls, child maintenance should stop. Now, if child doesn't maintenance doesn't stop, okay, because the, the other person has managed to convince them that the child is still in education, then obviously you're gonna to have to follow this up. And what I would suggest you do at this point is make a complaint to HMRC as opposed to making a fraud report. And maybe that might generate some action in your favor. Okay, so that's about it for me. So hopefully this video has been of use to you. Please like this video if you did like it. Okay, and please also subscribe because if you subscribe and when you subscribe, you you click that bell button, it should mean you should get future notifications of my videos. So if you are a paying or a receiving parent for child maintenance, this is probably one YouTube channel you probably need to subscribe to. And going forward, obviously, if you are a parent, you may be interested in, in some of the videos that got to pop up next. So take a look because maybe the subject of those videos is applicable to you. Thank you very much and hopefully you'll watch my next video. Cheers, see you later. Bye-bye.